Okay, one other thing I'd like to try is setting up some fonts with IntelliJ inside of Ubuntu to look a little nicer. So it looks like we can have this font config thing here. Um, looks like if we have this font config thing here, then what we can do, whoopsie, what we can do is do this local.conf file, sudo vim local dot conf sudo vim local dot conf okay and then I guess paste this in whoops paste this in let's see if this directory actually exists Yes, it does. Okay. So we pasted that in. And then let's actually close and relaunch and let's relaunch. Oh, wait, hold on. We should have a shortcut for this. We should have a shortcut for this. Oh, there we go. Let's see if these fonts have been detected. File settings. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, I can see the Microsoft fonts. There's this thing called Segoe UI. Oh, there it is. Let's try that. Let's try apply. What happens? Let's try going to like 16. Okay, that looks more usable. Let's see. Hello? Odd menu behavior. A little big. I guess let's go back to 16. Okay. Seventeen, maybe. Okay, that's decent. Uh, let's see. Um, Okay, 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 okay. Menus and toolbars. Font. Font JetBrains Mono. You could try that. Font smoothing seems to work decently. Um, one other thing. Thing. Let's see if there's a way to do one other thing that I wanted to do. Pause a second. Ah, so one thing I think that's useful... So IntelliJ has a menu that it first starts up with that shows recent projects, as opposed to just reopening the most recent projects when you start it. I believe that's the setting, and when you apply it and you quit IntelliJ, and let's quit it, now let's relaunch it. Yeah, now it'll actually give you the option of what to open. 
This is the welcome screen. So yeah, so if that that's the option that you can use to um, to uh, to actually set it to um, to set it to go to the welcome screen if you uh, if you open IntelliJ. Now, what's interesting is that I also want it to go to the welcome screen if you close it. Let's see if that's also possible. Let's pause it a second. No, there doesn't seem to appear a way to do that. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, the other thing I wanted to do is um, one other customization. Let's see if I can pull that off. Ah, so here's what I'm talking about. Notice how, you know, on the, at the top of the IntelliJ, there's this bar here. And typically, you know, if you're in OS X, the nice thing is that you could just throw your cursor up and it'll be this menu. Now, what they call this thing is an experimental feature called the Linux Native Menu. And let's see if we could do that. Let's see, experimental features, Linux Native, oh, we're, it's actually enabled. And let's see, um, the Linux Native Menu is enabled and it looks like it Still won't do it when running in this Windows mode. Oh well, I guess that doesn't work.